Apple's M3 iPad Pro is coming next month and it's gonna be much better than you think because we just got a couple of major leaks that show that Apple likely tricked us and not in a bad way, but in probably the best way possible. For the longest time, there have been rumors about Apple's upcoming iPad Pro costing way more than anyone ever thought. And more recently, we got leaks that it could cost $1,500 for the 11 inch iPad Pro model, which is literally almost twice as expensive as the current M2 iPad Pro, which starts at 800 bucks. The reason for that pricing was apparently because the new iPad Pro is expected to come with a brand new double stacked OLED display that not only gives it the best available contrast ratio and deep blacks, which gets rid of that halo effect we currently have on the mini LED iPad Pro, but it will also be twice as bright as regular OLED tablet displays that don't support true HDR content. But thankfully, we just got a brand new leak from Digitimes that goes against all of those massive price hike leaks. Instead of being $700 more expensive for the base model, Digitimes says that the price will likely only increase by up to $160, which is a pretty odd number, but if we round it up, a $200 increase would make the total $1,000 for the 11 inch iPad Pro, which is honestly exactly what I would expect the starting price of the M3 iPad Pro to be. So $1,000 for the 11 inch and 1200 bucks for the 13 inch, which sounds so much better than 1500 to 1800, which was the rumored pricing. And it almost makes me think that Apple intentionally leaked out that super high price hike information into the tech world to basically make everybody very disappointed in the pricing. And then that way, when it comes out for $1,000, everyone's gonna be actually happy and relieved about the $200 price increase instead of 700. So this basically means that Apple could be actually tricking us, but in a good way. And honestly, it makes the most sense for the 12.9 inch iPad Air to be $200 more expensive than the regular 10.9 inch model because Apple always charges $200 more for the larger display versions of many different products. Just look at the MacBook Air 15 inch. It's exactly $200 more expensive than the 13 inch. So you'll basically have the smaller iPad Air for $600 then the 12.9 inch Air for $800, the 11 inch iPad Pro for $1,000 and then the new 13 inch iPad Pro for $1,200. $200 gaps everywhere. But with those pricing rumors out of the way, it's now time to talk about the incredibly exciting new leaked features. Last month, the software developer Steve Moser discovered some new code within iOS 17.4 that says this. During Face ID setup, iPad needs to be in landscape with the camera at the top of the screen. And yes, since the iPad Pro is the only iPad right now with Face ID, this basically proves that the new M3 iPad Pro models will come with a landscape camera instead of the current portrait camera. And that is a huge feature that we've all wanted for years, and it's been amazing on the budget iPad 10, which is currently the only iPad that has that landscape camera. Why? Well, because the iPad 10 does not support the Apple Pencil 2 with wireless charging on the side of the iPad which is exactly where the new landscape camera is located. And that's precisely why the current iPad Pro and iPad Air do not have a landscape camera because Apple had to choose between the camera and the Apple Pencil charging hardware right here in the bezel. And yes, we did get new leaks of the 12.9 inch iPad Air and guess what? There is no landscape camera on that iPad once again because Apple chose to keep the pencil charger on the side. So what we need to figure out is how in the heck the new iPad Pro is going to have a landscape camera while also retaining the Apple Pencil wireless charger. Well, it looks like there are two different options for how Apple can make this happen. Getting into option number one, Apple could release a brand new redesigned Apple Pencil that actually has the wireless charging portion moved over to one of the sides instead of in the center, which would create enough internal space to have both 
the landscape camera with face ID and the whole module and the charging module on the side. And it would of course help if Apple redesigns the Face ID module itself to help make everything fit better. And guess what? 9to5Mac has actually discovered some leaked code within iPadOS 17.4, which points to a brand new Apple Pencil 3, but this time support for the Find My feature, which will be a first for an Apple Pencil. This by itself will make people want to upgrade to the new Pencil, but Apple will likely force you to buy the M3 iPad Pro if you want to use it, and their excuse will be the redesigned charging module that's off to the side that does not support older iPad models. Now, option number two is a bit different. What if Apple brings the dynamic island from their iPhones over to the iPad Pro, which essentially will allow Apple to reduce the display bezels by moving the entire Face ID camera module down into the actual display. And then with this method, they can easily keep the Apple Pencil wireless charging module in the same spot centered on the side of the iPad Pro. The benefit of going with this second option is that Apple doesn't really have have to redesign the new Apple Pencil 3's wireless charging module at all, and they might even allow you to buy one and use it with older iPads to get even more sales for those who want the new features like Find My, as well as the leaked interchangeable magnetic tips, which is also really cool. Those tips would likely be available in different shapes and sizes so that artists can get the true feel of, let's say, a thick Sharpie style tip while using the Apple Pencil. But the feature that I would really like is for the new Apple Pencil 3 to support the Vision Pro headset that I've been using. Oh man, it's so amazing. And that would be an instant sale for so many Vision Pro users out there. And the last very exciting thing that we know is coming with the M3 iPad Pro is actually a brand new next generation Magic Keyboard, which will look more like a MacBook Pro keyboard with aluminum than the current model with its rubberized plastic. So with all that said, I truly think that this M3 iPad Pro release will be the biggest and most impressive update since the massive 2018 redesign that brought the iPad Pro to a whole new level, especially if you're planning to get the new Apple Pencil 3, and the new Magic Keyboard. And it makes me so much more excited for it now that we know that the pricing likely won't be a crazy $1,500, but instead a much more affordable 1,000 bucks for the 11 inch model. But you let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and definitely get subscribed for more videos like this one and check out one of those two right over there, including my thoughts on the Vision Pro. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.